Michigan Building and Mechanical, comfort you can trust. Our company is a heating and air conditioning business with a product offering from residential furnaces and air conditioning up to rooftop equipment. We also provide service on all makes and models of furnaces and air conditioning and have 24-hour services for those failures that may happen after business hours. Michigan Building and Mechanical, comfort you can trust. Body Shop has been serving the community for over 65 years. As our community has grown, so have we. Our four owners are in the shop to care for your vehicle. We will work with any insurance company and repair and refinish anything. From farm equipment to patio furniture, bring it to Judd's. 8274 Byron Center Avenue. Michigan Building and Mechanical and Judd's Body Shop are pleased to underwrite this telecast. The local service providers that are affiliated with WKTV are Comcast and AT&T UVerse. Programming with Comcast is broadcast on channels 24 and 25, and programming with AT&T UVerse is broadcast on channel 99. The following presentation is a volunteer production from WKTV Sports. Oh, man. Somebody's got to be open. Good from Lord. the outside, and she gets it. How clutch is that? got a first down, and he may break it. He is. Gonna go. Two is after him, and he's not gonna get him. Yeah. Yeah. High, the takes off for a second. Throw down. I think they got, got him. Here come yeah. the Falcons again. Oh, oh he, he scores. scores! I think that's Trent White. Uh -oh. Tonight's matchup. Joey Lopez holding up for dear life. Here we go. With your announcers. Launched on the line, John Montecalvo out in front of this close Dragons. Montecalvo loses fire. That'll bring up second and 10. We apologize for the weather delay here and also for the delay in our setup. That kind of gets us in uh, a little bit late here tonight. Yeah, I'm Paul Cableman. My partner is Mark Bergsma and field reporter Mike Mall. South Christian comes in at 0-1, having dropped a tough one to Christ Grand Rapids Christian, 28-14 in the opener. Wassink's pass is complete to number six, Eric Van Vorst. And Vorst hauls it in and picks up a first down and an 11-yard pickup. Nice crisp little hook, hook in uh, hitch hitch play and uh, successful in that first pass. Fighting Scott to Caledonia, 1-0 on the season after a convincing 48-9 win over Battle Creek, Harper Creek last week. First and 10 again for South at their own 40-yard line. Just underway here. Wasson drops straight back to throw. He's got a man out there and it's just knocked down. Deflected by Tanner Christian, the defensive back that time on a nice play as, uh, as he uh, cut in front of the receiver at the last second, just deflected that ball. Well thrown ball. Yep. Mike, how does the field look after the weather we've had? Well, we'll get Mike here hopefully soon. So second and 10 now for the Sailors. Wasik. Does a shovel pass, and that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass because it was forward. Yep. Good idea on that pass. It just, uh, again, well defended by uh, the interior of that Caledonia defensive line. So it'll bring up a big third down here in the opening drive for the Sailors. As Mark mentioned, we got underway a little late because of the storm tonight, and we got some weather. Yeah, a lot of lightning, and every time there was lightning, it's a half an hour delay automatically, according to MHSA rules. Say that real fast about yeah, five times. about five Wasson's times. has got a man out there. Plosman's got it. Got it. And he's down inside the 20-yard line. What a beautifully thrown ball that was on just a hitch and go. 
and uh, a fly route right down the middle, and he hit him in perfect stride. Wasink, an experienced quarterback, comes in with great credentials, and uh, he sure showed his arm off there. 53-yard pickup puts the ball at the 17-yard line of Caledonia, first Paul, and 10. Paul, I believe that ball was in the air 35 yards. Oh, easily. Boy, that was beautifully thrown. Sure was. He got some yak yards out of it, too, but uh, the bulk of it was through the air, like you said. And that oh. will be five free ones, I believe, yeah, for I think, South Christian. I think you're right. I think that'll be encroachment on the fighting Scots. So South Christian knocking at the door early here. Uh, got Caledonia, the Scots, backed up to their own 12-yard line as they start this series first and five. Well, you knew South was going to come in fired up after taking one on the chin last week. Wasik hands it off. No, he hangs on to it, but fumbles it. And let's see who's got it. Wasink, I think, has got it. He recovered his own fumble. Lost about five yards in the process. Actually, Mark, he gained the yard. Oh, did he? If they spotted it at the 16. Yeah, but he lost. They, oh, they I'm sorry, given, he was at the 12. Yeah, they, You're right. They, he lost right. four out of the five You're that right. they had gained on the penalty. You're absolutely so. right. My fault. So it's a second down and about nine yards to go here. That ball's going to be slippery tonight, Paul. Yeah, I'm afraid so, but the field looks great considering yeah. what we've had tonight. These new turf uh, fields drain so well. No mud. Plasman in the backfield gets the handoff, jukes a couple of guys, cuts it back, and he is inside the five. Yeah, he sure is. He's got a first down at the about the... Looks like the two yard line. Nice run that time by Jeff Plasman. He tried to get on just off tackle and that, that hole was clogged up so he bounced it outside and uh, went around end and, and actually gained a, a nice, nice chunk of yards there. Mostly on his own. Yes, it was. I mean, a couple of, like you said, a couple of excellent moves to get out there. First down and Three. Watson keeps it himself and he bowls towards the line. Goal Boy, line he's and close. Let's see, they're gonna mark it just short, yep. it looks like. Yep, they are. They're marking it on about the half yard line. So you can only credit him with a yard gain there. That'll bring up second and goal from. Again, I apologize for our late start here, kind of joining you in the game in progress, but a credit to our crew who have been hustling here, trying to battle the uh, the weather challenges and yeah. get us all up and running. Kudos to them for sure. That's for sure. They've hustled. Glasman takes it himself, and he's, he's in the end zone. He's in that time. 8-10. Hey, the clock is still running. They're saying he didn't make it in. Really? I cannot believe that. I can't either. He tumbled over the top of the pile. I don't know how he didn't get in there. Boy, it's too bad we don't have instant replay. <laughs> physics physics says when you roll roll over the top of a pile like that, you got to land forward, I would think. I would think so. Third so, down now. And we got a whistle. Yeah. Illegal procedure is going to push the ball back. Now, after that unbelievable call on what appeared to be a touchdown, now South finds itself five yards away from the goal line. So it's got a big third down play here for both sides. Because sure is. South has got the momentum going towards the end zone, but if Caledonia could stop him, what a momentum swing that would be. Well, what do you do here, coach? Run or throw? I think you got to throw. Okay, we'll see. But Watson can carry the ball, and he he's sure going can. to. And, and he's going in. Yep. And he makes it. That's a score. Then the official goes up with both hands, and this time we know it's good. 7:06 to go in the first quarter. John Watson from five yards out. No laundry. No laundry on the field. You're going to see this on replay if we can get it here. 
So big news early in this classic clash between uh, two neighbors, South Christian and Caledonia. South Christian draws first blood. Masselink's kick is up and good. And he splits her uprights, and we've got a seven to nothing score. South Christian on top. We'll take time off for this public service announcement. WKTV bringing high school sports to your living room. We have a job to do out here today. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me, and my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team, a winning team, the action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Are you in? Well, welcome back here to WKTV here at Byron Center Field, where the, which is actually the home field for the South Christian Sailors. They've drawn first blood against the Fighting Scots of Caledonia on a five-yard run by quarterback John Wasink. Well, again, John Wasink figuring into the offense, both, uh, uh, both on that drive and then taking it in himself on that real nice run. And you correctly said, Paul, that he has, a, he has good speed and he showed it there around the, the left end and into the end zone. John Wasink prepares, or I'm sorry, John Masselink prepares the kickoff for the Sailors. He puts a foot to it and it's gonna be fielded at about the five yard line. And it's number nine for the Fighting Scots, Joe Stegeheis. And he gets it out to about the 25 yard line and that's where Caledonia will put it in play first and 10. Paul, do you think uh, the wet ball is going to be a, a factor tonight? We're going to see some fumbles, maybe deflections we've, in the We've passing already seen game. one yep, fumble. That's true. And I think it will, but not as much as it would on a regular field. Because mm -hmm. this field dries or drains very nicely. Eddie Kelly on the carry for the Fighting Scots gets it out to Bach just past the 30 yard line. Nice five yard gain. Yep. Well, it's been a challenge already with an hour, roughly an hour rain delay. Nice deception on oh, that play. Kelly's got some running room and he just, he's gone. Yep, he sure is. Boy, that didn't take long. Two plays and 75 yards. 70 yard run. And what, what? No laundry. Oh, there's a flag over on the 48 yard line. What deception on that play. And there's a Caledonia coach with his hands on his hip. So that, I'm guessing that coming it's coming back. back. Yep. Yep. You can see. <laughs> Oh, this is, yeah. <laughs> you can see the disgust on the uh, Caledonia sideline already from here, and we're a long ways away. Coach Tim Burrell in his first year at the helm of Caledonia, this time he's been the coach before. In fact, he won a state championship with him back in, what was it, 2007, I believe. So that long run is going to come back, and now we've got coaches out on the, out on the field. Did you get the call, Paul? I did not, but I got to believe it's a hold. It's coming it's back. It's a 10-yard penalty, yeah. so. It's coming back to the 43-yard line of Caledonia. And the kids are hustling back up to the line of scrimmage. That was incredible deception on that play. I mean, all of a sudden, a guy popped out of that mess and had the ball, and he was basically home free. This time, they jam it up in the middle. And Jalen Burton gets it out to the 44, pick up of one. They'll bring up second and nine. Mark, here's a rarity. On the holding penalty, they actually gained 13 yards. Yeah, they, they <laughs> did, but they gained actually a lot more than that. Yeah, they had it. All the way down to the end zone. Number 20 on that carry. Jalen Burton gets it up to the 47, a pick up of three. 
he is supposed to be their Premier. star tailback and a very quick and uh, and kind of a game breaker. I'll tell you what, I was impressed with with number six Eddie Kelly's speed. Yeah, that's for sure. And that breakaway that came back. Here's a jet sweep, a la Seattle uh, Tripped Seahawks. up nicely in there by, I believe, number six, Van Voorst. If you were watching the uh, NFL last night, you saw that uh, executed beautifully by Seattle. That'll bring up a fourth down, though. No gain on the play. Fourth down, and they're in that place in the field where it looks like they're going to go for it. No, I think they're punting. Oh, well, they are punting. Yeah. Okay. No, you're right. He's running it, and, and he's going to be very – he's got it. Oh, wait a minute. Is the ball out? No. He's, Kelly's got a first down at the 47. Let's see what, where they spot it because this is going to be key. Yeah, it's a first down. Here you see it. He just kind of picked his way through there. And when, when everybody got up – Caledonia had captured a first down, incredibly, on a fake punt. Did I call that or what? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even know it. No. <laughs> and off is to Jalen Burton, and he gets it out to about the, down to the 45 pickup of one. You know you're going to say Jalen Rose a couple of times oh, along the way here. I know. I was struggling. <laughs> That's why I had to hesitate. <laughs> Uh, second and nine now for Caledonia. Colby Wilson, the quarterback, waiting for the snap. Puts a man in motion. Hands it off. No, keeps it himself. He's got some running room, and he's gone. There's another flag. Yep. This one's coming back, too, I think. I think you're right. We got a flag at about the 30, they're going to say the 38-yard line. Yeah, you know that's got to be an offensive hold. Yep. Here comes the call. Yep, holding against Caledonia. So the second long touchdown run called back in less than a minute. That 10-yard mark off will make, in essence, a three-yard penalty at the 48, where it'll be second down and about 11. This drive is kind of like the... Uh, Tiger season this year. <laughs> yeah, up and down, <laughs> yo-yo type season. You never know what to expect. No, you so sure that's don't. two touchdowns that Caledonia's had called back here in the first quarter already. Both on holding calls, so evidently they're springing those backs with some illegal moves on the uh, on the holds. Burton. Oh, that's got to be a penalty right there. He was started in forward motion. Unless this is the Canadian Football League, that's a penalty. Colby Wilson, the quarterback on the keeper, picks up roughly two yards to the 46. They did not call that incredibly. So we had about third and 10 now for these fighting Scots. That's fortunate for Caledonia. Kelly's going to try and air. Or Wilson tried to air it out, and it falls to the turf that incomplete. Pass. Yep, deflected. And you're going to see a lot of that tonight on the passing game. I think you're going to see a lot of deflected and tipped balls that just can't be controlled because of the wet ball. So this will put him in punt formation on fourth and ten at the 46 of Caledonia. You think they'll they'll look for the fake punt on this one, Paul? <laughs> if they're smart, they will. And he, he runs forward and then kind of pooches it down yeah. and into the end zone for a touchback. 46 yard kick and the South Christian Sailors will take over at their own 20 yard line. First and 10 ahead, seven to nothing with 2.49 remaining on the clock in the opening stanza. Incredibly ahead after being scored on twice <laughs> yeah. on long touchdown runs. Uh, the upshot of that whole drive is Caledonia comes away with nothing. Yeah. The Fighting Scots have got to be frustrated. Yeah. I know their coaching staff is. <laughs> you bet. It's got to be a little deflating. So Wasink out of the shotgun as he is usually. Plasman, the lone setback with him. 
Snap, pitch to Plasman. Tries to juke his way out past the 20. And he's out past the 25. Good pickup on first down of at least five. Well, now they're saying maybe the 24. Pickup of four yards. Coming right at you on this replay. Here comes Plasman. Nice juke there. And he makes it just about to the 25 yard line. Good job on our camera crew that time. Again, we have limited cameras out there because of the weather tonight. We apologize for that in our late start, but we really, uh, the crew pulled off a miracle just bringing it to you here tonight. Nice run up the middle. Van Voorst on the screen gets it all the way down inside the 40 yard line of Cal Caledonia and a huge pickup. Sure was. Looks Good. like South came to play tonight, Paul. Boy, I hope to tell you. Some, watch this now. It's coming right at you here. Again, it's a little flip over the middle. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy, but look at the blocking up front. Uh-huh. 41-yard pickup. And then a lot of it on his own, number six, with a beautiful run there. And catch and run, Van Voorst, Eric Van Voorst. He's 6'3", senior. He was a primary receiver last year. Wasink ha hands it off to Plasman again, cuts it right up the middle. He's got maybe three, four yards at the most. Nice run. Just under two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. South Christian on top, seven to nothing. So second and six now from their own, th from the Caledonia 31. Well, the temperature has definitely dropped in yes. uh, the last two hours. Yes, it has. It's getting a little more comfortable. It sure is. Oh, there's a fumble by Wasik. He falls on it. And it's going to be back to the 39-yard line, an eight-yard loss. But a very, very heads-up and mature play there by Wasik. He didn't try to pick that thing up on the run. He just fell on it, which is the right thing to do. That's the second time tonight that we've had a problem with a football for South. So it's going to bring up third down and about 14 yards to go. And when you've got a quarterback like Wasink, third down and 14 isn't that hard to do. It's doable. Yes, sir. Two wide outs to the right, two to the left. And fumbles his snap again a little bit, picks it up, and he's going to run. He throws it downfield. And out of bounds. And that'll bring up a fourth down as it looks like the Scots have held South. Although this, this might be four down territory for. Uh, you never know. He's inside the 40 of Caledonia. Well, welcome back to WKTV here at Byron Center which is the home field for the South Christian Sailors. South finds themselves on the short end of a 14, 20 to 14 score, but it's, it's been kind of a seesaw battle. South yeah. took the, the first lead on a six yard run by John Wasick, but then Caledonia answered on a 65 yard run by Eddie Kelly, followed by a 79 yard run by Kobe Wilson. And then South answered to tie things up on a 70 yard pass from Wasink to Eric Van Voorst, and what a beautifully thrown ball. And with the rain, it was amazing he could do that. A tight spiral right into his hand. Hit him in stride, and he was gone. And then Bryce Christian caught a two-yard pass from Wilson to give Caledonia their lead. Unofficially in that first half, Caledonia three out of four through the air for 36 yards and a touchdown. Wasink, on the other hand, nine out of 15 for 223 yards and a touch. He also had an interception on the Hail Mary at the end of the first half, which yeah, was a really moot point, really. Throw that one out. Yep. But on the ground, here's the difference. Caledonia, 22 carries and roughly 217 yards. South Christian, 15 carries and 24 yards. And that's not counting the two runs uh, that Caledonia got called, back. <laughs> got called back that are well over 100 yards oh, yeah. between the two of them. So they're obviously a very potent ground attack. And uh, South Christian has had some challenges really trying to stop that uh, very, very strong Caledonia ground game. On the other hand, K 
Caledonia has had some difficulty stopping Wasink and uh, Van Vorst yeah, in, the, so right. in, the, in the South Christian passing game. And uh, even in spite of this weather, they have put on quite a show. Mm -hmm. Second quarter. Okay, due to the rain, we had some technical difficulties and we lost a little bit of the coverage in the second quarter. So we apologize for that. One of the things that's really surprising, number 20, Jalen Burton, is supposed to be the key running back for the Fighting Scots. He has four carries for nine yards. And it's been Kelly. It's been Kelly, and, and even Wilson had worked off a 79-yarder. Yeah, Kobe, Kobe Wilson has been really uh, quite a performer here. Uh, very elusive, and with that breakaway speed on that one run that he had uh, for a touchdown, uh, he basically broke two, three tackles, and then freed himself and outran everybody. I mean, you can't ask for a back to do much more than that. No. Well, to start the second half, the South Christian Sailors are going to kick off to Caledonia. It's a squibber picked up at around the 12-yard line by Joel Stegeheis, and he gets out past the 30, knocked out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. And the Fighting Scots will put it in play there, first and 10. In that first half, Eddie Kelly had 10 carries for roughly 115 yards and a touchdown. Well, Caledonia, as they head into this season, are, are going to be hungry for any wins they can get because they have to play oh, they've what, got seven or eight, eight or nine ranked teams or teams that made the playoffs last year. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think there's six from last year that made it. Unbelievable. So a, a real bear of a schedule, eh, Mike? Yeah, without a doubt, Mark. Once you get into that OK White, you've got your Lowell, you've got your East Grand Rapids, you've got Forest Hills Central, Grand Rapids Christian, who beat South Christian last week. So, and that's what burned them last year. They had a good season before they got to the league, but then just fell once they got to the big boys. Yeah. Four yard pickup by Kelly, in that, or not Kelly, but Wilson on that first play from scrimmage in the second half. Here goes Kelly again, and he's gonna break it all the way. Touchdown, Caledonia. No flags on the field. Wow. 61 yards. They're just breaking through that, uh, that South Christian line, and the linebackers are missing, and they just outrun the secondary, and watch this now. After the initial surge through the line right there, now there's nobody home. The, uh, the secondary is scattered. Uh, the linebackers are really, you know, coming up empty here. They're getting blocked effectively and sealed off, and uh, those runs are turning into uh, big, big, big gainers. They're going to go for two now because of the missed extra point. Pitch back and into the end zone. I believe that was Kelly, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So Eddie Kelly puts two more points on the board and it's now 28 to 14 in favor of the Fighting Scots of Caledonia. With that, we're gonna take a time off for this public service announcement, WKTV bringing high school sports to your living room. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America has important information for the millions of people with asthma. You may not know there are two main causes of asthma symptoms, airway constriction you feel and inflammation you may not feel. Learn how to better manage your asthma by treating both main causes of asthma symptoms. Treating both causes can help prevent symptoms before they even start. And preventing symptoms could mean a smoother ride. For more information, go to asthma.com. Well, we're right back here to you at uh, Byron Center High School Field, which is South Christian's home field tonight. And uh, again, we're fortunate to get this game in tonight, Paul, because of the inclement weather. Absolutely. Caledonia now kind of taking charge here, just asserting themselves in their ground game. Now up 28 to 14. Short cut kick is fielded on the 16, and yeah. he steps out of bounds. Uh, that's unfortunate, because that ball looked like it was heading out on its own, and that would have been a penalty. Some additional yardage. As it is, it was touched out of, on its way out of bounds, and that's going to 
really put the sailors in kind of a hole here at the 16 yard line. Well, in defense of the young man, when that ball is loose, that's a free ball. It's a so live ball. If yeah. it stays in bounds and Caledonia gets yeah. it, it's their ball. That's true. So you know, that's a tough one to do. So Wasink from his own 16 with their backs to the wall a little bit here. South down by 14. 28-14 to the Fighting Scots of Caledonia. Hands it off to Plaza and he breaks it off the left side. Gets out past the 20. Close to a first down, about nine yards. They're gonna mark it at 23, so second down. If there's a team that does not suddenly get in any panic, it would be the South Christian Sailors. There's a lot of veterans out there, as you guys oh, mentioned yeah. earlier, that have been through a lot of wars together. Yep, good point, Mike. And, and again, they do have the quick strike offense. We've seen that already demonstrated with that long hookup uh, between Wasink and Van Voorst. A delayed handoff to Plasma and gets it out to about the 25. That'll bring up third and about one, I believe. You know, we've had four drives tonight of two plays, three plays, three plays, and four plays, and the shortest one was the last one of 65 yards. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. So you're right, that quick stride offense holds true for both sides. Big play here for both sides. The Sailors really need a first down here. Get some momentum going. Trips out right here. What a gutsy call on third and, and He's one. got the first down and that's him. He may break it. Nope. Knocked out of bounds, but uh, what a pickup by Ryan Veenstra. He, there's some yak yards for yeah, you. Yeah, that's for sure. Veenstra. Just took that ball. Watch it now. There's trips out here to the right, stacked. And it's thrown to the third guy back. That puts the other two guys ahead of him in blocking position. He breaks through that initial line of uh, Caledonia defenders. And then this one just has the right angle on him, or otherwise he's gone all the way. 48-yard pickup. Number four eventually tackles him. That's Foreman, Trenton Foreman. Had the right angle. Wasik on a keeper himself, maybe a yard at most. We'll see what they give him. Well, it's gonna be important for South Christian to come away with points on this drive. Uh, for, just for the sake of momentum, give their defense a boost going back out there to try to stop this formidable Caledonia ground attack. No gain on that play, it'll bring up second and 10 now. We're closing in on a 9-10, remaining in the third quarter, 28-14, Caledonia on top of South Christian. Wasink rolls right, he's gonna keep himself, cuts it back, he's got a little running room, he's inside the 20. He's gonna be very close to a first down if he doesn't have it. We know they're in four down territory at this point, it's third down and one. With the score being what it is and the position they are in the field, it's gonna be four downs if necessary. They're gonna spot it at the 18, so you're right. He picked up nine yards on that one, Mark. Big third down play here. The last, one. last time they had a one yard uh, necessary at third and one, they went to the air. Oops, they won't have to now. They just got it. Encroach encroachment, yep. Boy, he hit that hard count as a quarterback. You could see it from behind here. Every His hands come up and the head move, and the Scots just jumped right off. Veteran move, eh, Mike? Absolutely so. A quarterback at his best right there. So first down for the Sailors at the 13 of Caledonia. Big first down there for them. <clears throat> well, they're in the red zone. Mike, what do you call here? I wouldn't be a bit surprised. He's got single receivers out to the left side. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see it going out there. Yeah, I think you might be right. No, he's gonna look going right. To right. <laughs> and he's got Van Voorst inside the five. About the four. Should be very close to another first down. Looks like about a yard shy, so a nine yard pickup. Well, I'm not even going to attempt to uh, assess whether they have a first down. I've blown it on about three <laughs> tries today. <laughs> so 
So second and one. I hope they score here because I want to see the kicker put one into the concession stand. <laughs> Darn near did it the last yeah, time. Yeah, he did. Wasik is looking right. After looking left, he's going to keep it. He's got some nice running room. Move. He's got a nice man in front move. of him. Uh oh, that's going to come back. Yep. Yep. That's coming oh, back. Oh, boy, I don't know about that. I thought it was a bad block. I, I really did from what I saw. But and I he didn't wrong. have to do it either. No, Wasink the had the corner already. Yep. That's going to be 15 yards. Oh. Not a good play. Yeah, he could not get the helmet in front of him. He was on the inside of him. And well, like I say, Wasink was already out to his left. I think he would have made it without it. Yeah, I think you're right, Mike. So it's a 10 yard mark off. Put the ball at the 12. So, oh, they're calling it holding? Block in the back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Caledonia has seen two touchdown runs come back because of holding calls. So now South Christian is bitten by the same bug. The rain has quit, guys. The wind has picked up a little bit, but the rain has quit. Wasink's going to look right. He's got a man out there, but he's a nice tackle. Now what do you do? Logan Soule, number 41, nails. The receiver back to the 16. About a three or four, four yard four loss. Four yard loss. Yeah. I'm not sure who that receiver was. Do you know, Mike? I did not get it, Paul. He went down so quick, I yeah. couldn't see the number. What do you call here, Mike? Oh, I did so good with the last one. You're giving me another <laughs> shot, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Hook and ladder. Washington's got oh, he got hit as he threw it. Oh, that was an early hit, I thought. Yes, it yeah, is. There's the play. Uh, I thought that was an early tackle on that play. So turnabout's fair play here. Now Caledonia's going to pay the price down deep in their own, uh, defending their own uh, end zone and, and here. And the Scott coaches are saying the ball was tipped, and I'm not sure it wasn't, to be honest. Yeah, they're, that's what they're saying, and I think the referee is agreeing with them. Because it sure, it looked like it from my angle behind the line of scrimmage that it got tipped as he released it. So a tipped ball is the question here. Was it a tipped ball? Yep, the ref just motioned that it was. And that, that makes it an incomplete pass, and you can do whatever you want to the person uh, on the other end. And no pass interference is taken off the table. So that brings up a third. Or fourth, yeah, fourth, it should, should be fourth. Fourth, fourth yeah. down yeah. now, and this is an important play, needless to say. 16-yard line, two scores down. He's got single coverage to the right. He's looking left, rolling left, throws it up, and he's got a man out there, and it is incomplete. Overthrew him just slightly. Intended for his favorite target, Eric Van Voorst. Just couldn't quite extend far enough to snag that one over there in the left corner of the end zone. So the ball go over on downs. Yep, Caledonia take over at their own 16, first and 10. Big turnaround on that tipped ball call down there, which nullifies any kind of defensive penalty after that, basically. I think the referee's got it right, too. Wilson waiting for the snap, keeps the ball himself, cuts it back up, and he's around the 21-yard line. Pick up of about five yards. Well, let's give some kudos to that offensive line for Caledonia, which has uh, really opened some nice holes for Cody Wilson and the rest of the gang. Yeah, unofficially, I've got Wilson now for 10 carries and 102 yards. 79 of which came on one run. Not to mention the callbacks. Yes, and Wilson takes it himself. He's got a first down, I'll pass the 30. Call it the 31, pick up a 10 more. Basically what's happening here is the uh, offensive line for Caledonia is out muscling the uh, South Christian front four. 
and the runners are getting into the secondary and they're having to be dealt with by cornerback safeties, occasionally a linebacker. Breaking through that first line. Here comes Kelly off the right side. He fights ahead for maybe four yards, five at the best. And if you're South Christian, it's got to be a little bit of a concern because last week they gave up 234 yards rushing. And this week they're at what number now? And, and I had 217 at halftime. Okay, and we got five minutes left in the third quarter, so it's got to be a little bit of a concern on that Sailor sideline. A big concern, Mike. A big concern. There's Kelly. one first. Kelly uh, keeps pushing ahead. How did he get? I was going to say the first the tackle screws. for a loss, but I don't think he uh, lost yardage. No, I think he, he actually gained a couple on that. Yeah, he did. And that was pure effort. Just yeah. Got it all himself. And we were talking with a couple people down here on the sidelines at halftime, and that's not something that you're used to seeing from South Christian. Usually no. the first contact, and you go down. No, it's a credit really to Caledonia. Their Absolutely. Str strength and their. Uh, Here's a he's gone again. He's gone. This time it's not Kelly. This is 20. Jalen Burton, and he's gone. Touchdown. No flags on the field. 4.14 to go in the third quarter, and the Scots have scored again. Watch it here now. Watch again, breaking through the first line. Now he's into the secondary, and all that he's got left to deal with are safeties and defensive backs, and he busts past them, and it's Up Katie the bar the door. Yep. 63 yards. And that's happened on numerous occasions. South Christian has really got to address that going forward. Watro splits the upright with the extra point, and it's 35-14. Caledonia on top. All of this is really a result of the trenches being won by the Fighting Scots. That's where it starts. Yep. That was a five-play, 84-yard drive. We've had runs tonight of 65, 79, 70, 61, and 63 yards. That's a lot of yardage. Once, once the running backs are bursting through that line of scrimmage and the uh, initial four up there, then, then they're run out, literally outrunning the uh, defensive secondary. Yeah, exactly. It's like you said, Mark. The linebackers are not getting that first contact, and there's nobody back. It's like the defensive backs are spread out, and the middle of the field is just open, and once yeah. he gets through there, it's gone. It's speed. Yeah. And, and he just outrun the secondary, exactly. and, and they're gone. Seen it again and again and again. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with this Caledonian ball <clears throat> club. Oh, I am too. Yeah, especially like we mentioned in the first half, it's a new offense that they have not run in the past, and for them to have adopted it this quick is really good to see if you're a fighting Scott. Okay, Watros puts his foot to it. It looked like it was offsides, but they don't call it, I don't think. From about the 14-yard line, the Scots get it out past the 20, or the Sailors, rather. Ryan Veenstra... Spotted about the 23-yard line, first and 10 from there for the Sailors, and they need some points on this drive because this is going to get out of hand here real quick if they're not. Well, it's already three scores. That's right. We're down to four minutes roughly in the um, in the third quarter. The last time South Christian started off 0-2, none of these players were even born. That was 1989. Oh, wow. Good stat, Mike. Yeah, where did you <laughs> dig that one out of? <laughs> I won't say. Okay. All right. Good stat. Wasink is going to air it out. He's got a man out there, and he's got it. That's Evan Bukema, and he gets it out to the 31 and pick up of eight. So it'll bring up second and second and two. Well, I think Ooh, a shovel dang, pass. Dangerous shovel pass into yeah, a mass really of humanity in there. That was dangerous, <laughs> right. And uh, anybody could have come up with that one. Luckily, it fell harmlessly to the ground. And the Scots almost did. 
So we've got a third and a long two now for the Sailors. We've got 3.38, I believe, on the clock in the third quarter. Well, Mark Taminga and the South Christian coaching staff here is really being put to the test here. What do you do when you're down three scores in the fading moments of the third quarter? Well, you give it to Wasik and let him run. You get a first <laughs> there down, he goes. and there you go. And he may go. He, he is gone. Touchdown, Sailors. 69 yards. Make it two scores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Come on along for the ride. It's Wassing to the left, and he just picks his way through, and he's gone right there. Last two defenders. Outruns the man who has a, apparently has an angle on him. <clears throat> and he's all the way. Good speed by the quarterback there. And the rain begins again. 3.16 to go. Maslink puts it up in, and it's good. And we are back to a two-score ball game. Boy, that was quick. 69-yard run by quarterback John Wasink. Well, Mike, that makes one, two, three, four, five, six touchdowns of 60 yards or better. That's unreal. It's been a big and play. And we still night. got uh, 316 <laughs> left in the third quarter, so there's time for four or five more at this rate. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's been a night of big plays. They do play defense, don't they? Uh, there's not a lot out there tonight <laughs> at times, but... Uh, you know, and, and that's going to be the key is who can come up and make a big stop because yeah. right now both teams are just going up and down. And if you can make a defensive stop, as yeah. you guys pointed out, it's now down to a two-score game. If you can make a stop and get another one, you're right back into it you're again. You're right. Now here's something. You know what we haven't seen tonight? Onside kick. We haven't seen any turnovers. You're right. None. We've Miraculously, had. on a night with wet balls and – I mean, it's it's yeah. really when it, when you think about it, it's pretty incredible. It's going to be caught about the seven yard line. That is Tanner Christian, and he gets it out to the twenty yard line, and that's where Caledonia will put it in play first and ten. We want to thank our crew again for an outstanding job tonight, led by. Bill Young, along with Doug Hanson, Gary Vandevelde, Phil Moore, Dave Monkma, Dan Simone, Mark Lane, Chris Wynia, and back at the station, our program director, Kelly Taylor. Eddie Kelly picks up maybe three, four yards. By the way, if, if you like sports and would like to volunteer, we are looking to add sports as well as just people to help us in the broadcast. So please call the station at 261-5700. Lots of room for volunteers here. And we have excellent supervision. You really have a good experience volunteering at WKTV. Oh, well, the ball came out late. Oh, they're saying he was down. Kelly on the carry. And he's got a first down. That was close, Mike. Yes, it was very close. Nine yard pickup. And Caledonia's satisfied with just moving the chains. Yeah, because as we've seen, any type of play like that can break any time. Oh, absolutely. Kelly gets the ball off the right side and he plows ahead. And he's inside. Or, Past the 45 for another first down. That's good hard running those That's last just, five yards. He yeah, was carrying four blue jerseys with him. Just good power running. That's all it is. 16. And, and muscle up front. 16 yard pickup at the 49. First and 10. Scott's on the move again. Folks, watch this offensive line for Caledonia. Jalen Burton gets the handoff after a good recovery by Wilson on the high snap. And he gets a couple into South Territory. 
Call it three yards at the 48 of South. There's a lot of seniors on the Caledonia team this year, and that's exactly what they were looking for, is to, for them to set the tone as to what the season would be like. Joe Stegeheis gets a carry for the first time tonight. He's been doing the returns for him, but that's a first offensive play, and he gets it down to the 43. A pick up a five. Well, the Caledonia blocking technique is just so good, and they, they isolate on their blocks, and they take care of business, and, and it creates running lanes and opportunities for these backs, and they're making the most of it. And that's a illegal procedure. Number one jumped off. That's Bryce Christian, who's had quite a night. So that five yard walk off will push it back to the, what is it, the 48? Yep. Wilson pitches it back to Jalen, and he's got some running room and finally tripped up inside the 40. Jalen Burton. They've got a sailor down right in the middle of the field. I'm not sure what he's got. Looked like he was grabbing the leg at first. Watch the replay here, 13 yard pickup by Burton as we have number 70, that is Mitchell Quackalar coming off the field for the sailors. Looks like he's walking under his own strength, so it, that's a good sign. Caledonia, another one of these sustained drives now, just kind of running at will here against the South Christian defense. Real high snap, this is gonna be trouble. They're gonna lose a ton of yards if they don't lose the ball. Ball and still free. No, nope. Caledonia recovers. They got it. But what? they lost a boatload of yards there. We still haven't seen our first turnover. <clears throat> we almost did there. All the way back to the 38 yard line, 27 yard loss. And on that note, we'll end the third quarter. With the score, Caledonia 35, South Christian 21. This is WKTV bringing high school sports your way. We're gonna take time off for this public service announcement. Drownings are a leading cause of death for young children. Simple safety steps are the best way to prevent these tragedies. Make sure kids learn how to swim. Always watch them in and around water. Properly fence all pools and stay away from drains. Consider the steps you take, then add a few more. Because you never know which pool safety step will save a life until it does. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit PoolSafely.gov. Well, welcome back and watch this replay, if you will, if, for the end of the third quarter. Oh. Okay, well, we will move on as we do not have the replay. Score now stands 35 to 14, and, or 35 21, rather, in favor of the Fighting Scots of Caledonia. The Scots with the ball, but they've got. A whole boatload of yards, 37 yards to go. But you know, the way they score it, it could happen. So on second down and 37, that's how we start the fourth quarter. Caledonia up to that huge. Kelly picks up a few of them back to the 46, pick up of eight. You got a second and 37 play in your playbook, Mike? <laughs> yeah, it's called that option off left tackle. <laughs> So what do you do on third and 29? <laughs> okay, go to the right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we've seen it break for 65 all night, oh, yeah. so it might as well. Wilson's going to try and air it out. He's got it. Nope, no. it's dropped. It's no, really wait a incomplete. minute. Wait yeah, a minute. It's incomplete. It? Incomplete. Yeah. Boy, I don't know. That. That looked complete to me. Yeah, I thought he took a couple too. steps. Uh -huh. Watch this replay here. Caught, and yeah, it's 
Yeah, it really did look like he walked, the, or moved with the ball in his I'm hands. still waiting for you to throw that red challenge flag down there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right by the 20-yard marker. Maybe I can toss that. <laughs> we got a whistle and a timeout called by Caledonia with 11-19 remaining in the ball game. Leading 35 to 21. We'll take time off of this public service announcement, WKTV. Is this really mankind? Hi, I'm Tiffany Thiessen, asking you to please check the label before you buy meat or dairy products. Look for cage-free eggs, free-range poultry, or grass-fed meat. Better yet, buy products that are American Humane certified, animal welfare approved, or certified humane. To learn more about responsible food choices you can make, visit eathumane.org. I'm not asking you to be a different person, maybe just a better one. Okay, Caledonia back in punt formation as we resume play here. Nice kick, and it's gonna go out of bounds somewhere around the five yard line. Let's see where they must spot it. Looks like about the three. So that new style of punter kind of runs at the <laughs> line of scrimmage and kicks with the momentum of his run. And uh, you see a little bit of that in college ball now. No, they're going to spot it. The, is it the 15? 15 yard line. Yeah, okay. The official looked like he was putting it down at a three at one time. Well, so there's, or there's, I'm sorry, Paul didn't mean to ahead. cut you no, off. You're fine. Go ahead. There's that stop we talked about on the yep. defensive side. Exactly. Now they need to take advantage of it. Quite a long field in front of them, though. At the 15 yard line, they start out. It hasn't seemed to bother either team tonight, though. That's true. <laughs> Well, I think it's going to air it. Nope. There's a slippery ball. Yes, that was a wobbly one. A slippery ball caused that incompletion because it was right in the arms of Van Voorst. That almost looked like from this angle, and you guys had a better angle of it, that it neither receiver was sure which one it was coming to because there were two of them right there. A little I got it, you take it. It almost looked like uh -huh. it. I think you're right, Mike. So that'll bring up second and 10 now. 11.07 remaining in the ball game. 35-21, Caledonia on top of the Sailors of South Christian. Dylan Brink in the backfield with Wasink. Glassman goes in motion to the right. Boy, they've got a lot of wrinkles, don't they, in their passing oh, I game? Guess. They really do. A lot of creative. Van Voorst on the receiving end of that one. And he's staying down. Yeah, they're waving the crew out real quick to have somebody come out and look at him. He didn't pick up a whole lot of yardage. but So Van Voorst on the field. And hopefully he'll be all right. That's a favorite target of Wasink. And they're looking at maybe it might be a cramp. Could be. Now, yeah, Mark, to your point as to uh, the different wrinkles, that's what you can do when you got a four-year starter back there, basically, as your quarterback. You can throw almost everything in the playbook that imagines. Yeah. And and you, you have to have, uh, obviously, a, a creative coaching staff, too, right. that's not afraid to try some of these uh, Pro style wrinkles now in the basically the West Coast style or spread offense. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, very creative pass plays. Oh, this doesn't look good. There's no weight at all going on that right leg no, as he's I coming off. I don't think that's a cramp. Yeah, it looks like an ankle. Boy, that's a shame. Now one play, I, I, I could be wrong, and correct me if I am, guys, but last year one of the things that South did game in and game out was almost just like an extended handoff, just throw out into the flat 10, 12 yards out and let him turn it up the field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we've seen that play all night tonight. Boy, this is a big loss for the Sailors. It doesn't look like he'll be back in tonight either. 
We got a flag thrown on the field. It's probably too much time, but I don't know. Well, they just barely got him off the field. I know it doesn't make sense, but. You know what? Another player came off. I wonder if they're saying too many men on the field. That good old illegal, illegal substitution, substitution rule. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Yep. Yep, that's what it is. Well, that's one thing we haven't had a lot of tonight. We've had only five penalties on each side. But unfortunately, some of them have been very crucial. Yeah, they have been crucial penalties. Pretty good job officiating by a very, a very veteran officiating crew here tonight. So that's going to push it back to the 14 and bring up third and 11 for the Sailors. And they desperately need to convert this. Lossink looking. He's going to roll right. He's got a man out there, but it's overthrown. Intended for number 21, Brandon Van Sulkema. That's going to bring up a punting situation for the Sailors. Well, his favorite target is over on the sideline being attended to, and uh, that, that's a big piece of this South Christian passing attack. It sure is. So what? Wassing back in punt formation, standing inside his own five yard line. He gets a foot into it. Pretty decent kick. At it. Very good Bounce kick. Bounce just past the 50 and out of bounds. And it looks like around the 44 of Caledonia's where now they're going to call it the 40, 47. 47. Yep. Very good kick, though. From deep in his own territory back across midfield. That, yeah. that really helps his team out. 39 yard kick. So first and 10 for the Fighting Scots of Caledonia at their own 47. 10 13 remaining in the ball game. Scots on top, 35 to 21. Is there a wind down there, Mike? There is a little bit. It's basically coming right uh, across the field from the west. Okay. It's cooling down. Yeah, oh, it definitely is. And off, I think that was number seven. Or was it? Six. 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 It, was okay. Kelly. it was Kelly. Okay. Yep. So he gets it into uh, South Territory to the 38, pick up a 15. He's a bull. Boy. He can hit the hole in a hurry, but once he hits people, he bowls them over. He does. <clears throat> Six foot, 215 pounds. That's a pretty good size running He's back. A big running school. back, yeah. Well, that's what I've I've noticed about him, Mike. He he hits the holes in a hurry, but he's not afraid to initiate contact. No, not at all. He's not jumping away from it by any means. Actually, the mark was 43 yard line, so it was a 10 yard pickup. Wilson on a carry right up the middle. And he's got another first down, down to the 20, he's 28 a, yard line. He's a fast runner. He picks up 15. And again, the, the South Christian defender hit him right around where the ball was being carried and he secured it all the way to the ground. Credit to both sides for good ball handling tonight. Here comes Kelly off the left side. Boy, look at him, just keep bowling. Off. And he moves the chains again. That first contact with him was about at the hash mark, and he bounced out three times all the way to the sideline before they got him down. Look at right. the effort. On Boom, this. right there's the first hit. Boom, there's the second hit. Here comes the third hit, and he's still not down. Wilson hands it off to Kelly again, and he may go. He's touchdown. Now, flag, 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 flag. on the play. Hold on. Where's the flag? I don't see it. Yeah, left half mark. Yeah, I did. It's a hold. Yeah, I did see it. That'll be the third touchdown call back for the Fighting Scots tonight. <laughs> it will be, literally. And, I'm, and I'm laughing because I'm looking over at Coach Burrell and he just waved both hands at the refs of this to say, just get out of here. <laughs> well, they're seeing it, whether whether he agrees with it or not. Yeah. <laughs> 
Spot will be at the 24, so it's really a six yard penalty. Typical coach's reaction. That's right. We wouldn't do that. <laughs> so first down. Big call though. Takes the takes six points off the board. 35 to 21 now with eight minutes and 46 seconds and counting in the fourth quarter of this very exciting game. Jalen Burton picks up six yards down to the 18. Second and about 10. Wilson on a keeper, and he's fighting his way inside There's the 15. There's another penalty. Yep. That one thrown quite late by the referee himself. I'm not sure what the call is here. It's against, it's against Caledonia. Another hold. Yep. It's gonna push it back to the 28. Well, no, Mike, thanks. Mike, would you say this is an important hold here for South Christian? I definitely would say that, Mark. I say that might have been an important hold for Caledonia in the last play. Well, I was well, just going to yeah, say that. You know what this is actually doing, though, guys, is it's allowing the Scots to run more time off the clock. Yeah, that's You're true. absolutely right. That's true. Even though they're, they're this drive is full of fits and bursts. It's. Uh, it is taking time off the clock. Now that almost was a lateral. Yeah. Lateral. Kelly catches the pass and gets it down inside the 25. Where in the world is the line of scrimmage in this whole thing? Um, <laughs> they've got to get to the eight yard line for a first down. The original line of scrimmage <laughs> is the, the 18. 18 yard line. Yeah. I've lost track. That's understandable. Spot is at the 22, so it's a six yard pickup. So third down and about 14. Head of steam here. And boy, he's awful close to a first down, but he's gonna be just shy. That was Tanner Christian, number one, or Bryce Christian rather. Watch him get ahead of steam here. He's not a real big kid, but watch him get ahead of steam and then hit the hole right there. 12 yard pickup. Boom. These Caledonia backs are not afraid of contact. They literally bowled over two defenders there with white helmets. Here comes a big stop for South. Fourth down. Kelly's ahead. He's got the first down around the five. Lots of motion and deception on that play, and uh, and that was one of them. I dare you to find who's got the ball, kind of plays. Five yard and pickup it resulted in a five yard gain and a first down, first and goal now. Guys, as I look at Van Borst over on the bench, it looks like it's a high ankle sprain. He's got the ice pack on the above the right ankle, big time. Boy, those can last a long time, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Ask Cabrera. Yeah. yeah. Just took the shoulder pads off him. Wilson waits for the snap and keeps it himself, and he's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Caledonia. 6.35 remaining in the ball game. Or is it 55? 55. 55. 41 to 21 now with a... Extra point coming up, we presume. <laughs> Masselink will come in to attempt the extra point. Trenton Foreman, number four on the hold. Snap is down and kick is up. No, and it's into the line. That oh, one okay, get, I missed it totally. Didn't get airborne. So did he. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> I believe in golf they call those worm burners. <laughs> it, it got blocked by the waist. 41-21, <laughs> Caledonia with 6.55 remaining in the ball game. We'll take time out for this public service announcement, WKTV. Nothing is more important to our nation's future than preparing our children to lead productive and fulfilling lives. 
and they need good role models. You can play an important part by volunteering as a mentor. It doesn't require special skills, just a willingness to listen and to care. You will experience the satisfaction that comes from inspiring a young person to reach for the stars, and you will be sharing in a kid's hopes and dreams. January is National Mentoring Month. Expand your universe. Become a mentor. Well, Mike, that was one of the short, that was the shortest drive we've had all night. 53 yards, but it took 10 plays to get there. I was going to say, it probably took the most time off the clock of any of them tonight, though. Mm -hmm. So 41. Well, does that, does that seal it, Paul? Pretty much. It's going to be very tough to put three touchdowns on the board in less than seven minutes. Kickoff. Beanstreet gets it out close to the 25, about 14, 15 yard kick return, and that's where South will put it in play, first and 10. Good kick coverage that time by uh, Caledonia. And you know, the and kick coverage has been pretty good all night long, both sides. It, it has been. There's a Scott down this time. I cannot see the number. 55, and it's Sam McBride. Sam McBride. He's a junior. Defensive lineman, also special teams, obviously. Well, next week, the Fighting Scots will open up OK White to play, going into Forest Hills Central for the league opener. South Christian, at the same time, is not starting league play. They get to go to Unity Christian for Friday night. Okay, Mr. McBride is up on his feet and Jogging off to the sideline, that's a good sign. First and 10, South Christian, 6.47 remaining on the clock. 41-21, Caledonia on top. And very much an offensive shoulder night on both sides. Well, even with their quick strike offense, South Christian really put to the test here. And there's a long one. He's got him if he can, nope. No. Ball thrown, ball, but well defended. Yeah, he, he was beat when the ball was released. He had him by about five yards, but he caught right back up to him to get there at the same time. Drake Ellens on the coverage there. Ball intended for Evan Bukema, number four. That'll bring up second and 10. Yeah, if he lets that ball go a split second earlier so that the receiver can run under it rather than having to wait for it, that's probably a completed pass. Yep, I think you're right, Mark. And a thing to keep in mind, that play normally would go to Van Borst. Yeah. Well, they may have to look at refashioning their offense without Van Borst if he's got a high ankle sprain. Well, I think dumps it off the plasma and he slips and goes down at about the 29. Pickup of about four. Third and six. Big, big play for the Sailors right here. They need to convert this into a first down at least. And they've got to put some points on the board pretty soon or they're going to be looking at next week. Well, I think it's getting some pressure. He gets it off. Intercepted. And it's intercepted at about the 48 yard line. <laughs> 20 yard line. Nice run back on that interception. Logan, Logan Sewell. Yep. Logan Sewell with a pick here. He was basically just playing center field and he realized that Wasink was in trouble. And he just kind of watched, watched the eyes. And I think Wasink got hit just as he yeah, was he releasing did. it yeah, too. He did. He did. So Caledonia takes over at the 20 of South, first and 10. That's the advantage of being up by 20 and a third and long. You can bring the whole blitz at him if you want to. Yep, yep. it opens up a lot of possibilities, doesn't it, Mike? Absolutely does. We got a whistle and a timeout, Caledonia. That'll be their second of the second half with 5.39 to go. We'll take time out for this public service announcement, WKTV. 
Hi, I'm Emmett Smith. Sports has given me a lot to smile about over the years, but as an athlete and the father of young athletes, I know how important it is to protect yourself from injury. That's why I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to encourage athletes to play it safe. I've seen firsthand how quickly an accident can happen when out on the field, the court, or even the dance floor. Wearing protective gear like mouth guards, face masks, and helmets can reduce the risk of injury and keep you in the game. Help kids play it safe. Welcome back to WKTV here at Byron Center where the Home team South Christian trails 41-21. And the Scots of Caledonia have the ball at the 20 of South. Well, Kobe Wilson's still in there. They haven't substituted for their quarterback. And it looks like their running backs are still in there. And Wilson stringers. keeps it and dodges off the left side and gets it down inside the 15. Well, he's a nifty runner, isn't he? Yes, he is. Very impressive. Not a very big young man. No, but boy, quick and good, mm -hmm. good cutting ability. Bounce that thing outside, and then we've seen his speed. Once he breaks tackles, he can literally outrun everyone. Picked up seven, second and three. The clock continues to run, which is the big nemesis of South right now. Inside of five minutes now here. Touchdown, Caledonia. Kelly from 4.32 to go in the ball game. Another, another example of busting through that initial line and then uh, nobody home. Another two-play drive. South Christian is definitely going to have to address that because the linebackers have come up missing here on uh, a number of plays, and uh, they've got to be there to plug those holes. Watchers in to attempt the extra point kick is low and no good. Got to give credit to the uh, Caledonia line though. The big guys up front and uh, opening holes all night long. 47-21 now as the Fighting Scots are looking to up their record to 2-0. They pretty much put this one on ice, wouldn't yes, you say? They have. Yeah, and like Mike said, this is the first time that South Christian's going to start out 0 and 2 since 1989. I think I remember that year. None of these kids do, though. I wasn't born then yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. I was going to talk about Bart Starr earlier. That would date me. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Paul Horning, and, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, boy, I thought better of that. Well, now, what I was going to say about Bart Starr is he was he was famous for uh, third down and one yard to go, and he dropped back and threw a 25-yard pass. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Loved it. And he, and he was successful about 99% of the time. Who was Max McGee was one of his yeah. key receivers. Wasn't yeah. He? Jim Taylor. Yeah. Well, he was a bull, wasn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. Well, the Scots have always treated South Christian as a big rivalry game, and they've actually won five of the last six meetings coming into tonight. And it certainly looks like they treat this like a rivalry, even though they're not in the same conference anymore. Well, I think the Scots are just trying to store up wins. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're going to need them with the schedule they've got. Uh, Watros with a kickoff. And it's a short one, fielded at about the 23, maybe. Getting outside there. That's Dylan. Right at midfield. Brink. Right at midfield. Nice return by Brink. First and 10 south of midfield. Thank you for the scouts the from that point, and I agree with you guys. They definitely are going to need the wins come that conference time, but if you've got an offense that can move like this, that's going to give you an awful lot more chances than what they've oh. had in years past. Oh, they're very... I have to agree with that. Very impressive. And I think, 
you know, all things considered, they've given up 21 points to this Wasink led offense, but uh, they're a very potent offense, South Christian is. Y yes, they are. So there's nothing to be ashamed of there either. Veenstra on the carry. The linebacker play, I think, for Caledonia has been decidedly better than South Christian's linebacker play. They've plugged up holes if they, the running backs for South Christian have made it through the, the initial line. They've been there to fill those holes, and, uh, and that's kept the big play out of the equation, at least on the, on the ground. Yeah, exactly. There hasn't been a lot of yards after the first contact going that way. Mm -mm. Second and seven now for the Sailors. Some of that's just good coaching. Good Hand off is to Veenstra. Good technique, like right there. Yep, exactly. That was a one-man tackle right there. Number 34 came across and just wrapped him up. Pick up a three, the third down and four. To me, one of the one of the beauties of the game of football is good tackling. One of the things that I enjoy watching the most is good tackling. Forty-seven to twenty-one now, three minutes and counting left in this ball game. Pitch out to Veenstra. He's going to be shy of the first down by a yard to a yard and a half. And tackled in bounds. Yeah, that's another key issue right there. Although I think time really is irrelevant now. Yeah. yeah. Now the Sailors the last two years, two years ago, they set a school record with 476 points. And they broke that last year with 480. They well, averaged over 34 points a game both seasons. They're going to have to go some to get there this year. Mike, you are a fountain of statistics. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have much of a life, Mark. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful job down there. I've been meaning hey. to talk to you about that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm, I'm not being sarcastic here. I'm, I'm commending you. <laughs> Thank you. Osman is stopped, and that'll turn the ball over to the Fighting Scots. They'll have it at their own 41, first and 10. Two minutes and 18 seconds left in this contest. And I think Caledonia's going to be pretty content here to probably put some subs in and keep the ball on the ground, don't you think? Yeah, you don't want to get your first string hurt if you can help it. And, and for the first time tonight, guys, there's trying to be a moon shining through up here of south over the stadium. Either that or else there's a big UFO and I'm getting out of town because it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right with you. <laughs> Guess what? I'm wrong again. Colby yeah. Wilson's right back in there. Yeah, and Burton is the running back. I've been wrong all night, I swear. <laughs> Burton is going to get snowed under right at the 40. He's going to lose a yard, maybe even two. Yeah, just a yard. They smelled that one out in a hurry. But that keeps the clock running as we hit under two minutes remaining. Now, like we said earlier, I think this back-to-back uh, -back offense for Caledonia last week was 40-some points, tonight 47. I think it's going to open some eyes up as they go into that OK White Conference. I would think so. 95 points in two games is nothing to sneeze at. And I think for South Christian, again, I don't want to beat a dead horse here. There's, There's a, a bad snap. Bad snap. And they're going to fall on it all the way back to the 22-yard line. I think, I think South Christian really has to address linebacker play. They, uh, they, seems to me in the last year or so, they had a real tough kid there at linebacker. I can't remember his name right now, but he anchored that linebacking core and, uh, and really made a lot of big plays. And now that's missing. You're not seeing any big plays coming from the linebackers. You're, you're seeing them block, taken out of plays quite a bit. And uh, somehow, South Christian's got to address that issue. Well, we're in the final minute of play. This will probably be the next to last play, if not the last. Now, somebody called a timeout. Uh, that was an injury. Oh. 
Official dead then. Okay, he's wanting to wind the clock again. Inside of 40 seconds now. I think they finally did sub Kobe Wilson out of there. Get a second string quarterback in there. And taking a knee. And that'll do it, fans. Final score, Caledonia 47, South Christian 21. And we'll be back for a quick wrap. WKTV bringing high school sports your way. Hi, I'm Albert Pujols, and I play baseball. Today I'm going to bat for kids who need dental care. Every child should be able to eat, sleep, and learn. Well, that's pretty hard to do when you have a toothache. Tooth decay is one of the leading reasons why kids miss school. The American Dental Association Give Kids a Smile program wants to help. Kids cannot be healthy without good dental health. Visit our website and give kids a big smile. Please visit our website at givekidsasmile.ada.org. Well, welcome back here to WKTV where we are at Byron Center, which is the home field for the South Christian Sailors. And they've kind of taken one on the chin here, 47 to 21 to the Fighting Scots of Caledonia. And I'll tell you what, the difference in the ball game was Caledonia's ability to run the ball. Mm -hmm. They didn't put the ball up in the air that often, only six times, completed four of them for about 42 yards. But it was really the, the ground game that controlled the ball game for the Fighting Scots. They drew. Actually, South Christian drew first blood with a six-yard run by John Wasink with 7.06 to go in the first quarter. But Eddie Kelly went 65 yards about five minutes later and tied the ball game up. Then Kobe Wilson from 79 yards out scored for the Fighting Scots, put them on top. South answered on a 70-yard pass from Wasink to Eric Van Voorst, who unfortunately went out with a, what appears to be a high ankle sprain. And then from there on, it was pretty much the fighting Scots of Caledonia. And most of it on long runs. 63-yard run by Burton, a 61 by Kelly, a 69 actually by Wasink of South Christian later on. But And they had add in a couple of them that got called back because of yeah, penalties. Yeah, so. actually three touchdowns for Caledonia called back, one for South. Yeah. So. Well, our buddy and fellow announcer, Ron Schultz, uh, predicted the two touchdown victory for Caledonia before the game, and uh, he was a little light yeah, in that prediction. Yeah, which is surprising. <laughs> well, for our crew, led tonight by Bill Young, along with Doug Hansen, Gary Vandevelde, Phil Moore, Dave Machma, Dan Simone, Mark Lang, Chris Wynia, and our program director Kelly Taylor back at the station. This is Paul Cableman along with Mark Bergsma and our on-field reporter Mike Mall saying thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. Have a good night and God bless you. Michigan Building and Mechanical Comfort you can trust. Our company is the heating and air conditioning business with a product offering from residential furnaces and air conditioning up to rooftop equipment. We also provide service on all makes and miles of furnaces and air conditioning and have 24-hour services for those failures that may happen after business hours. Michigan Building and Mechanical, comfort you can trust. Judd's Body Shop has been serving the community for over 65 years. As our community has grown, so have we. Our four owners are in the shop to care for your vehicle. We will work with any insurance company and repair and refinish anything. From farm equipment to patio furniture, bring it to Judd's. 8274 Byron Center Avenue. Michigan Building and Mechanical and Judd's Body Shop are pleased to underwrite this telecast. The local service providers that are affiliated with WKTV are Comcast and AT&T UVerse. Programming with Comcast is broadcast on channels 24 and 25, and programming with AT&T UVerse is broadcast on channel 99.